Hello everyone and welcome to this video brought to you by NDEB Strivers. Dr. Mustafa here and welcome to this new series question and answer in relation to the assessment of fundamental knowledge, which is the AFK exam in the, the first exam in the NDEB process. So in this series, we will be just giving one question that is relevant to a very important topic uh, in relation to the AFK. And then we will explain the question, try to find the reference that would answer the question. And uh, then we might in the future also try to elaborate more about the topics that we will be talking about in those questions. So let's get into it. So the first question that we will have today is an oral pathology question. The question says, the treatment that is often recommended for erosive lichen planus is systemic corticosteroid, topical corticosteroid, topical antibiotic and systemic analgesics, or only systemic analgesics. So those are the options for the question. So the usual thing that you want to do in the exam is definitely to highlight the important points, right? So first of all, we are talking about the treatment for a very specific uh, condition because lichen planus has more than one type, right? So we have the erosive lichen planus here. This is the, the type that is we are questioned about. So because it is actually different. The erosive lichen planus treatment is different than the reticular lichen planus and so on. So lichen planus, as we mentioned before, is a very important topic um, uh, for the uh, in the oral pathology subject. So now we have the options in front of us. So the, I would definitely recommend that if, if someone is watching and, and you have a, the exam in February, for example, pause the video, go to the reference that is mentioned in the NDEB list for oral pathology, and then go to the erosive lichen planus section or the treatment of lichen planus, and then start reading the, that page and then come back to the question. After doing this, so now I would assume that uh, you would already stop the, the video now and go and look by yourself first. Uh, I will definitely now explain the, the way that you should do that, whatever I, I just suggested. So you go to the reference that you have in your reference list. Uh, in the, it's either as a hard copy or in your, in your computer or laptop. So now I went, I did the same. I went to Neville. <clears throat> Oral pathology, the fourth edition, uh, oral and maxillofacial pathology. And this is actually the part where it talks about the treatment for the erosive form of lichen planus. <clears throat> so this is the page for in the fourth edition. Uh, you can definitely go and check the whole thing out if you want to, to go and, and read more about lichen planus, which is something that is very highly suggested. So for the erosive lichen planus, as we can read here, is often bothersome because of the open sores in the mouth. So erosive lichen planus is a little bit more aggressive than the reticular form, and it is usually symptomatic. So that's also an important information that you should go and read, the differences between the different types of lichen planus. Because it is... So here in this line, they said because it is actually an immunologically mediated condition, Corticosteroids are recommended. So for now, we know one point about the, the treatment for our condition. But actually, we did have two types of, of corticosteroids. So we had the systemic corticosteroid and the topical corticosteroid. So which one is the better one? So this is exactly the case that you would usually be facing in the AFK exam you usually have two options that are very close, and then you have to pick up the best option in between the two. So now we excluded the topical antibiotic 
I, uh, from that line and only systemic analgesics also is excluded. <clears throat> so the lesions respond to systemic corticosteroid, but such drastic therapy is usually not necessary. So the drastic therapy of giving systemic steroid is actually some, most of the time is not necessary. And the question is asking about what is the most common and often used or recommended type of treatment for the erosive lichen planus. So then they mentioned that one of the stronger topical steroid uh, steroids applied as a thin film several times per day to the most symptomatic areas is usually sufficient to induce the healing within one to two weeks. So here we get what is the most often recommended type of treatment in this slide. So that's why reading and reading actually in depth in the uh, in the treatment or in the in the questions that we would usually be getting is actually very important. So because here it's the systemic corticosteroid is actually mentioned, and but it's not it's a drastic type of treatment that is not necessary. So we go usually with the topical corticosteroid um, uh, as as the better way or as the best way that would relieve most of the symptomatic areas. It's usually very sufficient to induce the healing within just one to two weeks. So we get to the conclusion that actually the treatment that is most recommended for erosive lichen planus is actually the topical, uh, the topical steroid. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's just delete that. So then the answer would be B for this question for the day today. And that, uh, a very like a very important topic, one hundred percent is lichen planus. Generally, the treatment, the differences between the different types. Uh, so go and and the fact that the erosive actually lichen planus is a pre-malignant lesion is also a very common type of question. So uh, take this as an opportunity to open level and just look into lichen planus. Make a summary in a separate word file. And then here you go, you have a, a very uh, like kind of like try to make summary of the important points about lichen planus generally, so that you can go back to those notes when you are just like about two to three weeks from the exam. Thank you so much for watching. So if you like this, please like the, the, the video. Um, let us know if you guys are, are uh, uh, would like us to do a whole review about lichen planus, we would definitely be very happy to do that. Don't forget to subscribe for the channel for more videos. We will be posting more questions based on our uh, experience, the past, the, the, the release question from the NDEB as well, and uh, our experience in February and August. Uh, we will be very happy to share more uh, important topics and important concepts. Thank you so much, and we will see you definitely in the next video. So stay tuned.